Jordan K welds away today, just days away from graduation. But he'll leave Wapaton with more than just a diploma. Plug this in, then it, the air runs through all these hoses and it goes down to the hydraulics down here. This is Jordan's Cadillac. I push this button here and it pushes me up. Jordan was paralyzed in a car accident at the age of six in a wheelchair. Jordan has found it hard to run equipment in the welding classroom. Trying to reach all the buttons and trying to turn on the gas on the cylinders. And we, we realized that he's sitting down below everything and really can't see how to work all the equipment to get a good idea of, of how to cut things and, and measure things. That's when Jordan's instructors, Jay Schimmelfennig and Joel Johnson stepped in. After a year of design and manufacturing, the two, along with machine tooling students, came up with a wheelchair that basically catapults Jordan into a standing position while he wills. I like it, it's a cool idea. Jordan is grateful. He'll now graduate and enter the workforce, trained and with a wheelchair to assist him at his first job. I got just air and hydraulics and just knee support. I got knee support here. With those three things, I guess, you know, I'm standing up, so. Hundreds of hours went into this planning and making of a high-tech chair, and it's more than a Cadillac. It's a campus celebrating one of their own who has refused to have a disability get in the way of a dream job. Uh, it's a lot of hard work went into it and a lot of time and money and effort. And I appreciate it a lot from the school just to donate all this stuff. From Wapiton, Kevin Walden, WDY 6 News.